What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I feel like I this is just beating a dead horse at this point. <laughs> but iOS 13.1 came out, man, like usually with these updates you guys know I would be like super happy, super ecstatic and ecstatic. I'd be like, man, 13.1, this is awesome. But I'm actually super upset that Apple even released this beta at all. Like they should have never released this beta in my opinion. And I'm kind of actually mad at them about it. Now, nobody's gonna listen to me because, and Apple's not gonna change their opinion on releasing it just because I say something. But it's kind of funny because iOS 12.4.1 came out yesterday and I said this in other videos, but like I didn't want 12.4.1 to come out because the jailbreak for 12.4 was still out. So I was like, if 12.4 is the last version of iOS for iOS 12, that would be super sick because there's just going to be continuously a signed jailbreak for that update but I knew that wasn't going to happen. And then today, 13.1 came out the beta, and I'm even more upset that they released this than 12.4.1. Now, for those of you who don't know, iOS 13.0, the official version, is supposed to be coming out pretty soon within the next couple weeks. They released the beta for 13.1 before the official version of 13 is even released. So how does that, first of all, how does that even make any sense? How do you release a beta that's ahead of the beta that you already have <laughs> of the future version of iOS? Like you released a beta in front of another beta that hasn't even been released. Like it makes no sense at all. I think this is just a placeholder update though, because the feature that it brought 13.1, it brought Siri automation. So I don't even honestly know what that means, but within Siri shortcuts, it does add, I guess, a little bit of capability for something. So you guys probably know more about this than I do, but there is a little bit more you can do with uh, Siri automation, so that's awesome. And this makes me think that this is more so a placeholder update, mostly due to the fact that 13 is still in beta form. So I think they're going to release the iOS 13 betas. I think beta probably like 10, hopefully very soon within the next couple of days. So that's fine and dandy. Okay, whatever. But here's the bigger issue. iOS 13 is already technically out of date if you think about it, even when the official version of that comes out. But here's the other thing. When the official version or GM version of iOS 13 comes out, will it be in 13.0 or will it be a 13.1? Because as far as I know, I don't think Apple ever released a 13.1 or two, uh, iOS X.1 release on the first update. I think they released the .0 and then like very shortly after they released the .1 or .01 or whatever. But the question is, if it is 13.0, will that mean that the people who are currently on 13.1 like I am on my iPhone success, does that mean that we will not be able to go and update or upgrade to iOS 13.0, the GM or the official build? Or will we be stuck on 13.1 beta until the official version of 13.1 comes out or 13.1.1 comes out or whatever the case is? And will the build number change between these two? Like, I, don't, I have no idea, man. This is just like so confusing. I wish they never released this update. Or I wish they released iOS 13.0 beta 10 or whatever that now we're at. It makes no sense to me. I don't know why they did that. But I did run a benchmark for those of you who are wondering. And on 13 beta 8 or 9, I honestly don't remember. I had a multi-core score of 119,534. And I just reran it. And it did go down a little bit to 118,405. Now, before you get all mad, like that's not a big deal at all. That's a very, very small amount. <laughs> a thousand points, you're going to lose like a couple thousand points every time you update. And you're going to gain a couple thousand points every update. But that's pretty much it. That's the state of iOS 13. Point one right now. If you have any questions or you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also, check out the other links down in the description as well my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to the hunt.